Hello class, uh, welcome back. Uh, on this tutorial, we are going to go over uh, a problem from chapter seven, and this one is specifically question number four. So if you're having issues about calculating probabilities, uh, stick around, this will help you with question number four from uh, homework from chapter seven. So let's pull this up right over here. Let's see. Okay, so question seven says the amount of water in a bottle is approximately normally distributed with a mean of 2.55 liters and a standard deviation of 0 0.035 liters. Complete parts A through E below. So uh, A says, what is the probability that an individual bottle contains less than 2.47 liters? Uh, okay, so basically what this is saying is that you are at a water plant and uh, and each bottle is supposed to have exactly 2.5 liters, right? That's what the mean is. And, but what they're saying, if you pick up a bottle, any bottle randomly, what is the probability that the bottle will have less than 2.47 liters? Okay, so to put things into perspective, uh, I have this the bell shaping here. And zero, that is zero standard deviation, that is the mean. So the mean right over here is 2.5 liters. So zero here, 2.5 liters. And there is ask, the question they're asking us is, what is the probability that you are going to pick up a bottle and that is going to be have 2.47 liters? So 250 is here. Now the problem is we don't know where 247 is because these ones is these are in standard deviations and 2.47 are in liters. So first thing we need to do is compared to C-score. Here is the formula. You have your data point minus your mean and you divide that by your standard deviation. So I am going to use Excel to do my calculations because the <coughs> I like to use Excel. So what we're going to write in here is our data point and that equals 2.47 and then we have our mean and that equals 2.50 And we have our standard deviation equals uh, 0 0.03, oops, standard deviation equals 0 0.035. All right, so our formula tells us that, uh, that we need to equals, we need to have our data point minus our mean, and then all of that we're going to divide by, by our standard deviation and that'll give us 0.8571. So basically what we know, what we learned from this is that uh, the probability that we're gonna pick up a bottle and it's gonna have less than 2.47 is going to be 0.85 standard deviations to the left. So we're gonna use this green here and here is one standard deviation. So we are looking somewhere on this area. So what is the probability that that bottle, you pick up one bottle of water, that that bottle of water is on this region here? Okay, uh, <clears throat> what you need to do now that, now that we know is a 0 0.85, you're gonna have to use the C table. For this one, you can, uh, uh, use the C table that is on your textbook, or you can use one that is online. So I'm using one that is online here, C table from ctable.net, and we just need to find 0 0.85. What was that? 0 0.85, 0 0.86, or 856. Let's see in here. A, uh, 0 0.8, <coughs> 8. Uh, We're gonna round up to A6, so we're gonna use this value here, and that would be 0 0.195, because we're rounding up through three decimal points. Let's see, where did I put my uh, problem? <coughs> Oh, 
Okay, so we have uh, 0. Point, oops, 0. 0.186, right? That's what we said. Yeah, no, 0. Point one, 0. Point 0.196 or 195. 0.95, I'm sorry. 95. Answer here. And that looks good. Now, this one's a little bit more complicated. It says that if a sample bottle is selected, what is the probability that the sample means about contain is less than 2.47 liters? So same values. The only thing that is different is now instead of selecting just one bottle of water, you're picking up four bottle bottle, four bottle waters. So you may want to take a look at your PowerPoint presentation for chapter seven. Take a look at the slide 17. And this reminds us, right, uh, that properties of the sampling distribution. We have that the mean of the sampling is going to equal the mean of the population and the standard deviation of the sample is going to equal the standard deviation of the population divided by the square root of the uh, sampling size. All right, so let's uh, <clears throat> figure that out. Let me use Excel one more time. And here is my Excel here. And uh, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do sample size and that one will equals four okay so for this one is telling us well it's pretty much the same formula uh, that we have before let me see where's my word document so here is my word document right so here is the same same formula we're still going to use this but instead of using this standard deviation here we're going to use this standard deviation here basically what we're going to do is divide by n, the square root of n. Okay, so <clears throat> our sample size is four. So let's start by the, we know that the square root of four is two, so that's easy enough. So what we're gonna do is we are going to equals, and then we have our data point minus our mean, and we close parentheses, and then we divide by, and then we open the uh, parentheses again, and we have our standard deviation divided by two or the square root of the sample size, which is four, so square root of four is two, and that'll give us negative 1.71. So again, you're gonna need your C table, and this is 1.71, negative 1.71, so once again, let's go here and make sure that we're putting this into perspective. Let me clear this up. And uh, so now we are looking at 1.71. So somewhere over here, this area here to the left. And of course, my phone has to be ringing, which is the not on vibrate like it's supposed to be. So anyway, we're looking at this area, 1.71. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Uh, so once again, let's put out a C table, 1.71. So here's 1.71, that will equal 0 0.436. Oh, sorry, 0 0.44. Okay, so this one equals 0 0.044. All right, all right, and that will give us the answer. All right, now this one, it says, if the sample of 25 bottles is selected, what is the possibility that the sample mean amount contains is less than 2.47 liters? So, this one, our sample size is 25. We know the square root of 25 is five. So instead of dividing by two, we're just gonna divide by five. <coughs> and that'll give us negative 4.28. So I can tell you without even looking at the C table, that it's going to be very close to zero. Uh, 4.28. Yeah, see that the, here is negative 4.2. 
Yes, so 4.2 is this one here. You see how close to zero that is, so we're just gonna write zeros here. So this one is zero. All right, uh, now one point, one thing that is interesting here is that even though we're only picking up one sample size, you see what the probabilities, how the probabilities changes because the, we're still looking at 2.47, right? Anything less than 2.47. If you pick just one bottle, the probability that uh, that, that one bottle contains 19 point, uh, contains less than 2.47 liters is about 19.5%. Now, if you pick up four bottles, the probability that the mean sample for those four bottles is about 4.4%. But if you pick at 25 bottles, the probability that the mean of those five bottles is less than 2.47 is almost zero. Okay, uh, you can figure out the rest yourself, but this will get you going. If you have any questions, something doesn't make any sense, just shoot me an email.